to replace the main belt on your 7 Series Levina 25 or 30 machine. Begin by placing it on the floor in the tool change position. Rotate the key lock with the provided tool in order to unlock and remove the security plate. Next, remove the four bolts keeping the tool holder attached. Repeat this for the other two holders. Detach the vacuum hose and unscrew the plastic knurled knob holding the strap of the protective cover. There is one on each side. Slide the cover out and set it aside. Unscrew the eight bolts holding the adapter and plastic cover and remove all the sealing elements. In order to open the grinding head, the belt must not be under tension. Open the inspection cover as shown to access the belt tensioner. First, loosen the four nuts shown and then proceed to unscrew the two nuts on the threaded rod in order to loosen the belt. Now, the bottom cover can be removed. Remove the nine bolts, securing it in place. To separate the two halves of the grinding head, insert three M12 by 30 or longer bolts in the locations shown and slowly and evenly thread them in place. These bolts can be found on the side of the machine. Set the bottom cover aside and remove the M12 bolts. Remove the belt. Inspect the inside of the grinding head and clean if any debris are left from the old belt. Install the new belt without the use of force, keeping in mind the correct orientation. Using the belt tensioner, tighten the belt to remove some of the slack, but do not tighten all the way. Thread two M8 bolts in one of the belt pulleys as shown. You can use the ones left from removing the tool holders. Insert a screwdriver between them and rotate the pulley three to four full turns to ensure the belt is mounted correctly and all grooves fit properly. Return the bottom cover in place and tighten the nine bolts, securing it in place. The correct belt tension can now be set. Turn the nut until the belt tensioner contacts the pre-installed support. Lock it in place by tightening the second nut and then secure the entire tensioner by tightening the four nuts shown. This procedure is only valid if the pre-installed support has not been tampered with. Otherwise, a frequency tension tester must be used to set the correct belt tension. Refer to your owner's manual for the correct belt tension in Hertz. Reinstall all of the parts back on the machine in reverse order to continue using your Levina.